I am back again with another Backblaze review, and a lot has changed since my, since my last one. We've like all got a little older, and hopefully Backblaze has got better. It's added new features to improve its software, and there's been some upgrades in the performance as well. And oh, did I mention it's still unlimited? What? So let's find out what all that means. I've spent years testing Backblaze and I still have my subscription from back in 2012. In this video, I'll reveal the pros and cons that you won't find in their marketing materials. We'll talk about security and privacy and we're also obviously going to talk about features and how easy it is to use for beginners. We will cover speed and pricing as well so you have the full picture before making a decision if that service is what you need. Before I get into all the good stuff, I want to highlight that Backblaze has essentially two core products. The one it's most known for is essentially the computer online backup product. But there's also Backblaze B2 which serves more, I'd say, kind of like a business cloud storage where you pay on a per use basis, that is like per gigabyte of storage that you use in your company or in your home. Now the advantage with Backblaze B2 is that you can also back up NAS drives, which you can't with a standard consumer product that we're focusing on in this review and you'll find out a little bit later why that is. Backblaze online backup backs up everything on your computer, including obviously your hard drive. <laughs> so you can back up external hard drives as well, but the main focus is on the hard drive that's on your computer that you use the most. Now, let's talk about what really sets Backblaze apart. It's, as you've heard in my intro, unlimited backup. It sounds almost a little bit too good to be true, but when I say unlimited, I mean truly unlimited. There's no sneaky data caps nor fair usage policies, no extra charges when you exceed some arbitrary limit. Whether you're backing up five gigabytes or five terabytes, the price stays exactly the same. Now, there are a few exceptions. Backblaze hasn't been immune with price increases due to uh, the coronavirus and other um, things like inflation. So they started back in the day with $5 per month and now have increased the price a little bit to be a sustainable business. And we'll talk more about pricing later so you know exactly how much it'll cost you. But here's something what you need to understand about this unlimited backup. It's really not meant to be dumping a dumping ground for files you never want to see again. Think of it more of like a living, breathing mirror of your computer, whether that's your personal computer or whether it's an external hard drive right now, that's essentially what gets backed up. It is not, you cannot consider it as an archive because if you do not connect external hard drives in a certain amount of time, they will get deleted from the backup. So that's, I've read at least in our comments on cloudwords.net on our Backblaze review that this might be a deal breaker for some, but as I said, it is not meant to be an archive. The only real limit you'll face is essentially your internet connection. So if you're rocking a slower connection, that initial backup might take a while, but once that's done, Backblaze just keeps things updated in the background. And that's why we're doing regular speed tests with all cloud backup and cloud storage services. And you can find more about that a little later in this video if you're concerned about speed. And we do have an in-depth speed comparison chart that you can download by clicking on one of the links in the description box below. Speaking of keeping things, Backblaze includes version history by default. So if you accidentally save over that important presentation or delete a crucial file. You can hop back in time and grab an older version. And if you're someone who needs to keep deleted files for longer, they've got extended version history options too, but obviously you get pay for this. Just remember though, 
Backblaze isn't trying to be your extra hard drive in the cloud. It's not about freeing up space on your computer. We have other services for that. And if you're interested in that, go through our library of videos where we talk about pCloud, for example, that is really meant as an external hard drive in the cloud. And it's also not meant for sharing files around. It's not, it is not a productivity service. It's purely about having a solid backup of everything that matters to you, no matter how much data that may be. So it's a helmet while you drive on a bicycle. It's your security blanket that you need to avoid hard drive failure. Not to avoid it, but when hard drive failure happens, you can restore all of your important files at once. Now, as for the price, I've alluded to that it's gotten a little bit more expensive, but hey, for unlimited cloud storage, what do you guess? What do you think it's gonna cost you? Well, it costs you $99 per year if you opt for the yearly plan or $189 for two years. And you can grab our discount link from the description so you don't lose your data. And trust me, it's really painful. And we got a 13% discount for you there as well. Let's look at security and privacy. Backblaze uses AES 128-bit encryption to secure your data in transit and at rest. It protects transfers with the SSL protocol. 128 is older than the current industry standard, which is AES 256-bit encryption, but it's still pretty impenetrable. So your data is secure. And honestly, that's about it security-wise. Other than two-factor authentication, there's single sign-on through Google, Google and Microsoft as well, but that's not uh, overly concerning me. Backblaze is pretty secure overall. Looking at privacy, you can create a private encryption key or PEK as they call it. And with this, you're basically getting a product with zero knowledge encryption. However, it's not quite true zero knowledge encryption. During the restoration, the encryption happens on Backblaze's servers and not on your device. This means there is still a small window where your data could potentially be exposed. A slight gray cloud, but I'm not calling rain check on Backblaze because of it. Though, if you're handling extremely sensitive data, you might want to consider a service with true zero knowledge encryption like iDrive, for example. It's another excellent online backup service without the unlimited stamp on it. But let's stick a little bit with privacy here. There are several points to consider. They collect basic information like your email address and password, plus your phone number if you use two-factor authentication. And they also collect data about your device, operating system, IP address, and file information while you use their services. Now, Backblaze promises not to sell your info for marketing purposes and that's pretty good, but they do share data with third-party providers to keep their services running smoothly. It's pretty standard, but it's something I thought you'd like to know. Backblaze might share your data in response to legal requests, which some of you may take an issue with. And on the plus side, Backblaze complies with HIPAA and GDPR. They also offer an EU data center option, giving you more control over where your data is stored. And oh, Backblaze is SOC2 Type 2 certified, which means its privacy and security measures have been independently audited and approved. Let's get into the features. By design, Backblaze has aimed to keep things nice and simple. I actually like this as sometimes services can overload us with features that aren't really necessary or accessible. Backblaze is obviously all about backup and you've got options. You can run backups to your schedule whenever you want or you just set it up so it runs continuously in the backup so you will never forget it. You can set it up whatever suits you and whatever fits your internet connection because maybe you don't want to back up your computer while you're streaming 4K Netflix if you have a tighter connection, so to speak, so it doesn't bog down your overall internet speed that you have in your home. And I like it also that you can customize what you want to back up as well. But the main thing is that you don't really have to with Backblaze. You just, it's a set up and forget it solution. You click a button and then it scans your system and it just backs up everything automatically, minus system files and settings and everything because it's not meant to be a bare metal backup. It backs up your most important files, but not system files. So it is not for a pure, from a pure restore perspective, you cannot delete and wipe out your operating system and just restore everything as is. But the most important files and documents will be safe. 
So I mentioned before that you can also continuously back up your computer, which is super convenient and it's, it's always running in the background. And Backblaze also has incremental backup, which backs up your computer over the course of several days and will only back up the changes of, um, of the files, essentially. So that's very useful to save bandwidth. And continuous backup is essentially more reliable, but it's going to put obviously a constant pressure on your computer's resources. Incremental backups improve performance, but you run the risk of files becoming corrupted. So that's something to keep in mind and to be a little bit mindful and careful about so you can maybe prioritize your backups at a certain time of day. By the way, even though it is an online backup product, you can still share files with people inside and outside your organization, though to do so you need to activate B2 cloud storage as that will be working in the background. So you can essentially share files and, and, do, uh, and do the things that you want to do. But as I said, you cannot set user permissions on those shared files. You'll have to delete the shared link if you want to stop sharing. And as it's not made to be a collaboration suite paid users get one year of file versioning. So you can jump back into older iterations of your files in case you accidentally overwrite them or you delete them or what have you. You can also choose to keep every version of a file forever if you wish, kind of left the field. Backblaze also has something like called Find My Computer. It's the same shtick as Apple's Find My Feature. If you misplace your device or it's, God forbid, stolen, you can jump in the Backblaze and find where it's located. And that's, uh, that's a pretty cool feature. You can download Backblaze for Windows and Mac OS. And right now there is no backup options for mobile devices, though you can access your computer's backup files via the Backblaze mobile app. I'm not a super fan of their app. R really, it doesn't give you a lot of options, but yeah, you can you can at least see the file tree and look at everything that's back up. The desktop apps stick with the ethos of, well, Backblaze is basic. It's logical, it's easy to use. I'll bring it up on screen as you'll see everything. It's labeled pretty clearly and learning how to use the different backup functions doesn't require too much brain power or too much reading about how online backup works. You can also jump into your backup via the web. And here you can access your files and also, as I mentioned before, you can share them if you wish. And you can also choose to restore the backup. But honestly, I'd restore via the desktop app. It's smoother, it's less clunky, it's a little faster. Um, sometimes if you're thinking I believe if you live in the US, you can also request a hard drive to be sent to you with your restore in case you need it very urgently. There's not much more to say here. That's a good thing in my book because it means Backblaze has done a pretty good job of not overcomplicating its software. And that's one of their main selling propositions. It's easy to use, it's unlimited, it's most, it offers most features what people really need. Let's talk speed. In our test, Backblaze's performance was, well, let's say it was, it was decent. We uploaded and downloaded the five, five gigabytes folder twice to get an average. And Backblaze took about 17 minutes for uploads and around seven and a half minutes to download. And it's not an award-winning performance, but it's pretty good in the world of online backup. Now, we're not talking cloud storage. Cloud storage is usually a little bit faster, but online backup, it's, it's pretty decent. But Here's where Backblaze shines. They have an automatic throttle feature that balances backup speed with your other online activities. You can also manually adjust this if you prefer. So if you're doing your initial backup of two terabytes, you can really scale this up as much as you want. So Backblaze consumes your whole bandwidth and then it will be significantly faster. Or you say, hey, I want to watch Batman 4K and I don't want a backup to interfere with my connection. So you can really give it a little less resources to do that backup while you do it. Backblaze has a feature for more advanced users, the manual throttle. You can increase the number of upload threads. This can speed up your backups, especially if you have slower internet connection. It, to put it in simple terms, it basically allows Backblaze to upload multiple files at once rather than one at a time. Now, obviously, it will clog up your internet connection if you do this because you give permission to say back, to tell Backblaze, hey, use all you can <laughs> to upload my files so other things might suffer a little bit. Let's look at the verdict here. I mean, probably you heard it throughout this review. I pretty much like it. 
I've been using it for years and years and years, over a decade now. The unlimited backup for me is a game changer because I don't have to think about how many terabytes I'll back up to the cloud and being able to back up literally everything on your computer and external hard drives, provided they're still connected to your computer without worrying about data caps or extra charges, that peace of mind alone is worth the price of admission. And when I say everything, I mean everything, your photos, your videos, your documents, even your entire operating system, no matter how much data you throw at it, Backblaze just keeps on backing up without complaining. Pretty decent. Online backups can be overwhelming for new users, and a lot of people don't know where to start. And Backblaze tackles that by offering a really simple but effective backup system. I think even experienced users will appreciate its simplicity. It's like having an insurance policy for your digital life that just works and works and works in the background. Plus, with the version history feature, you're not just getting a backup you're getting a time machine for your files. Accidentally delete something important? No problem, just roll it back and grab it, download it. Now, there are some things I'd like to see in future. So, NAS support, number one. Uh, server backups, number two. Maybe some hybrid backup options, but honestly, for what most people need, a reliable, unlimited backup system that won't break the bank or give you a headache to use, I'm more than happy to recommend Backblaze, and I've even recommended it to my grandmother. Now, that is a testimonial, right? I wanna hear from you. So, are you using an online backup at the moment? How does your backup strategy look at this point? Do you have one? And have you used Backblaze before? How much data are you backing up with it? Drop your thoughts in the comments. And if this review helped you out, give it a thumbs up. And if you want more cloud storage insights, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button and notification bell. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.